I'm Nick with Nesters and today we're installing the Nest Smart Lock by Yale. As Airbnb hosts, we love the Nest Smart Lock because one, we can program everything from our phone. We don't necessarily have to be on site. We also love the fact that we can schedule times for our cleaners to come in between three and five and they only have access during those specific hours. We also love the feature where you can use a nine volt battery. So if the power is, if the battery does die, not only do you get warnings on your phone, but you can take a nine volt battery, put it on the bottom of the lock and it'll give you temporary power to access the entrance as needed. So this just seems like the most foolproof hands-off lock that we could find. Today we're going to show you how to install it so you can make your Airbnb business hands-off too. All right, so first let's see what comes inside the box. Okay, the exterior keypad. Door jam hardware. Inside deadbolt. Four AA batteries. Okay, and this device plugs into any outlet. Looks like your Wi Fi booster. So we got instructions, and that's it. Let's do this. So the first step, you're gonna to wanna to remove the existing deadbolt on your door. And one thing I like to do is I'll take a whole saw cutter. This is a one inch made for door assemblies. Um, and I just like to rebore the existing holes just to make sure that the mechanism slides in smoothly for an easier installation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So first you're gonna grab the inside assembly. There is a metal ring key that comes with this. It's gonna go in the top hole right here and it's just gonna pop off this top panel. Like so. This is where your batteries are gonna be. You're also gonna have access to your screw holes. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab the bag of screws. We're gonna open this up. And we're gonna install a latch. Let's make sure that the up is facing up. So you're gonna have four of these smaller screws in here. We're gonna take two of those and just put them right in. Now I'm not gonna go all the way tight just yet. I wanted to have a little bit of wiggle room if I need it. Okay, your next step is gonna take your digital keypad and slide it right in. The wire's gonna go underneath the latch assembly here. And then you're gonna take your plate and slide the wire in through this slit at the bottom. Now these two metal prongs, I'm gonna call it, are gonna go right into the assembly at the bottom and there's two holes and it just slides right in. What's really cool about this is that it comes with different lengths of fasteners. Your standard length is gonna be the black uh, fasteners, but if you have a thicker door or a thinner door, um, those sizes are also available. So since we have a standard door, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these fasteners in the holes right above the wire. Now before I tighten them completely, I'm just gonna check to make sure that everything is straight with the back plate as well as the front keypad. Okay, looks good. All right, once this is secure, you're gonna wanna grab your uh, deadbolt mechanism and connect it to the wire. Now here's your connection point. Now you're also gonna to wanna to tuck this wire in like so.
And then you're gonna slide in, I actually don't know the name for this, <laughs> right through the slot here. And it's gonna pop right in. All right, and then before I screw this in, I'm just gonna test the deadbolt. So I can see that it is working properly. All right, so now I need to grab my screws. So you're gonna use these small screws to fasten this on. Go ahead and take my screwdriver and line it up with the holes here. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten these two screws that I left a little loose earlier. And we're gonna grab our AA batteries that came with it and put them right in. We'll do that in one second. Next, we're just gonna put our cover back on. And now we just have to do our strike plate. So this does come with a strike plate, but you know what? I decided I'm just gonna keep my old one. It matches, it looks great, but just so you know, it's as simple as screwing it right in. So that pretty much wraps up the installation. I'm gonna go ahead and take off our plastic protective film and we can program this very quickly. Just hit the Yale button. Start by creating the master code. It should be four to eight digits long. Then press the check to continue. Okay, don't peek. The master code is set. Next, make sure the door is closed. Oh, I gotta go to the outside? <laughs> Sarah, come with me. Next, make sure the door is closed. Then press the check to continue. Checking the lock. Installation is complete and your lock is ready to be added to your Nest account. Woohoo! Now after this is done, don't forget to download the app and now you'll be able to control it by your phone too. It's going to be great. Okay, so you're going to go, you're going to open your app and then you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to add a product. Okay. Scan the code. Okay, I forgot. The code is actually on the inside um, where the batteries are located. So you gotta pop off that panel and then take your phone and put it right over the code. Press and hold the button. It's located in the back of your door lock. Ready. Use your Nest app to add the lock to your account. Okay, that's it. That was a really easy installation. Um, don't forget to plug in your Nest Connect. Now, I believe you don't need to plug in the Nest Connect if you have the Nest security system. However, we do not have that, so we bought the lock that came with the Nest Connect. And that completes our installation. It was really straightforward and super simple. If you have any questions, let us know below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and we always love to see new subscribers so that when we make new videos, you get notified. I'm Nick from Nesters, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Nick from Nesters! <laughs> well, that's gonna be the bloopers. You're just going to push on it. <laughs> Let me just... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I felt like that was really hard. Okay.